Hello, church family. We are excited about the upcoming potluck the Deaconesses are hosting this Sabbath. It was really nice of them to provide recipes this past Sabbath in church. If you were not here, you can go to the Frederick Seventh-day Adventist Church Facebook page where the recipes will be made available. I'm doing my best to contribute. I'm going to be using my own recipe. It's called Special K is for Coconut Loaf, and it calls for celery, cottage cheese, eggs, and really any kind of cereal will do. But make sure the cereal is Kellogg's because Kellogg's used to be Adventist. Put it in the oven for one hour or until the timer goes off. The Frederick Adventist Academy had its annual oratorical. Nakshakthra and Jack shared their presentations with the church family this past Sabbath. Thank you for allowing God to make a difference in your lives and sharing with us. Pastor Izzy has been studying with Nicole and her daughter Petra and we are excited that they will be sharing their decision to give their lives to Jesus and allow Him to live through them this Sabbath. Petra said, I am really excited to get baptized because I get to be a part of the Frederick Seventh-day Adventist Church in a special way. And I get to learn more about God as I continue to grow. For those thinking about baptism, she recommends, don't let go of that thought of getting baptized. Find a pastor and see how you can get started in the process and definitely speak to God about it. Petra, you are a witness to all of us. On March 30, Pastor Izzy will be baptizing Margaret, who said the reason she wants to get baptized is because she wants to go deeper in a relationship with God. Asked what she would say to anyone considering baptized, she said, go for it. Shine Kids Church will be back the first Sabbath of April. It's an opportunity for our kids to sing get to know each other, and learn more about Jesus. The cast for the Esther play have been working non-stop in preparation for their upcoming performance. They are practicing around the clock, and now they have started setting up the stage. This is a great opportunity to reach out to our community. So please let your friends, family members, neighbors, and whoever you want to to plan on being here April 12 or 13 at 7 p.m. For more information, go to the church website. We pray the Lord richly blesses you this week, and we look forward to seeing you again. Until then, I encourage all of you to get ready for a wonderful potluck. I can't wait to see how this turns out.